Hi, it's Brent Abel here at Web Tennis, and let's talk about the high backhand volley. And I want to start out by kind of pointing out two sort of instinctive problems we have with really executing this shot. Uh, to where you know we can really do some damage with it. You know, number one, because we're up at net and you know the ball is up high, you know it really feels like you know this is a put away opportunity. And it would be if it was over on your forehand side, where maybe you could really get your feet organized quickly, get into position where you could hit an overhead, and being that close to the net, you know you know as well as I do, the chances go way up that you're going to be able to end the point as a winner uh, with your with your overhead. But once the ball gets over to the backhand side, this is really so much more technically a difficult shot to execute as opposed to the overhead. And yet our mindset is still saying, we got to find a way to put this ball away. We got to find a way to end the point. The biggest mistake that we make on this is we get on top of the ball too much and we end up getting too severe, too sharp of an angle where the ball leaves our racket. We're thinking, you know what, I just want to make this shot somehow. What I want to show you right now is one of those six fundamentals that uh, are part of this mini course. And you know, when we think about the standard backhand volley, you know, we talk about playing the ball slightly in front of us out in here. And once the ball gets up a little bit higher from say waist high where you would normally play a standard backhand volley, once it gets up into the high backhand volley category, if you play this this ball at the same out in front point of contact that you would down here, I'm telling you, you're going to get on top of this ball and the ball is going to be angled too severely down into the court where it's going to bounce up and then really give your opponents that opportunity to be able to then take control of the point. What I want you to do on this high backhand volley is to think about playing the contact point later. Okay, one of the six must have, got to have, vital fundamentals on this high backhand volley is going to be your point of contact and how it differs from a standard sort of waist high volley. You know, standard waist high volley, you know, down here at this height is a little bit further in front than where you want to play this high backhand volley. I mean, I really try to feel that I'm playing it to my side and even though this is not, you know, literally to my side, it's just that, you know, it's slightly in front of this front shoulder. It feels later than where I would normally play this shot for a standard waist high volley down here or even something down below the down below the top of the net. If you get this point of contact, even, you know, let's call it four to six inches further out in front. If you make the contact point out in here, what's going to happen is the top of your racket starts to flatten out on top of it, and now your trajectory is much more severe. It either ends up going into the net, or else it's more of a you know angle like we've been talking about, where you end up playing this ball short, relatively short, to where it bounces right around the surface line of your opponent's court and doesn't really get that skid that you want through the bounce where it stays low, it really kind of just bounces. And now it bounces up and allows them to be able to sort of have a easy lob opportunity, uh, an, an easy lob opportunity, or even worse, they can you know, sort of tee off in a ground stroke. So what I want you to work on with this is playing this ball later in here so that the stroke mechanics really get a much better chance to be able to create that skid and create that depth that you want in this high backhand box.